Hi everyone, Kelsey from Meyer Hatchery here. Have you ever been brooding young chicks when suddenly the power has gone out? As you may know, chicks are not able to regulate their body temperature until they've fully feathered out, usually between six to eight weeks of age. A sudden drop in the brooder temperature can be fatal, especially in the first few weeks. To avoid this stressful situation, we highly recommend having a backup plan or even two in place. The best, but probably the most expensive option is to have a portable backup generator for your home. You can find these at most hardware stores or even online, but just keep in mind you may need a licensed electrician to help you install it safely to power your home. Not only will this benefit your chicks, but it can also help prevent your fridge and freezer from spoiling as well. In winter, your fireplace or wood stove is an excellent source of heat for your chicks if you're able to bring them indoors. Just make sure that you have a safe distance between the chicks and the wood stove just to prevent any fire hazards and also to make sure your chicks don't get too hot. Instant hand warmers are another great option to provide your chicks with supplemental heat and a power outage. Just use these with caution because they can get very hot to the touch. You'll want to put a blanket or a towel between the hand warmers and your chicks just to avoid direct contact. Aside from adding additional heat sources to your brooder, another great option is to insulate your brooder. If you do decide to add styrofoam insulation to your brooder, just make sure it's on the outside of the brooder. If it's on the inside, the chicks may peck and will likely eat it, which is not good for them. Another great option to add insulation temporarily to your brooder is just by adding blankets. You can put these on the outside of your brooder. You can also add more pine shavings or straw to the brooder to provide a little bit more insulation to your chicks. As a last resort, you can also warm up your chicks in your car. Yes, you might use a little bit extra gas, but it will provide your chicks with a warm environment for just a few hours. Alternatively, using an inverter hooked to your vehicle's battery or 12 volt outlet is a great way to power a heat lamp or a brooder plate without the engine of your car running constantly. If the power is going to be out for a few days, you may consider asking a friend or family member to house your chicks for a few days until your power is restored. With all methods, having a thermometer in the brooder is incredibly helpful in checking that your chicks aren't getting too cold or too hot. You can also watch their behavior. If they're huddled and sheeping loudly, they're very likely too cold. But if they're scattered away from the heat source, they're probably too hot. Hopefully these suggestions will help you prepare for a power outage. We'd love to hear some of your favorite suggestions for brooding chicks without power in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching today.